welcome to my channel SAPSD and ABAB League support. This is continuation series on SAPSD real time scenarios. In other words, we can say announcements. So today we will discuss about a requirement related to outbound IDOC that is order response outbound IDOC requirement. Okay, so as per standard behavior, as per standard behavior, in the order, if the confirmed quantity is zero for any of the schedule lines for any of the item in the order, then those data won't be transferred to the IDAC. That means IDAC will display only the confirmed schedule lines data in the IDAC. If the confirmed quantity of the schedule line is zero, then those data we, we can't see in the IDAC. Right. We know that um, the order response, right? So when we save in order, then an outbound IDAC will be triggered. Okay. And uh, that is the message type here is ORDRSP. ORDRSP and uh, Basic type is ORDRS05. Let me show you in the system as well. Let me go to WE02 transaction code. We know, right? WE02 will be used to list out the all the inbound and outbound IDAX. And we see logical message if i put a cursor and click on f4 or click on this search icon you see we have almost um, four message types are there ord chg order change message type ORDERS, order create message type, and ORDSP, order confirmation. Most of the times we will be using these three only order change, order create, and order response. This order internal communication, we rarely use it. Fine. So, here in this case, in our scenario, there's an output. Okay. There is an output assigned to the order that the medium for that output type is either A or 6. A means ALE, 6 means EDI. Okay, in both in case of both A and 6, IDOC will be generated. Here, the message type will be ORD or SP. That is order response. And uh, coming to that uh, basic type, remember this WE30 transaction code. So WE30 transaction code used to display the basic type and extension details. So WE02 used to list out all outbound, inbound, IDAX. And we can use WE05 or WE09 as, as well, we can use it. Let me show you that WE09. Yeah, WE09 we can use, WE05 also we can use. So there will be slight difference between these three transaction codes. We can discuss about this uh, T codes in detail in upcoming sessions. And uh, WE30. So in WE30, we can see the segments. 
segment editor okay so about uh, basic type and extensions okay so the basic type for uh, order response is ordrs ordrs05 if i click on display okay so so this is the segments of that idoc or response right so we are talking about confirmed script lines data so the confirmed script lines data will be available under each and every item that means it's item related data so this data we can see in the segment e1 edp01 so e1 edp01 is a segment which will be holding the each and every item details right in a, in order we have item number 10 20 30 will be there right so those information we can see in the even dp01 segment only if there are uh, two items in the order item number 10 item number 20 then we see two even dp01 segments in the idoc okay so inside this um, even dp01 uh, segment there is a subsegment called e1 edp20 remember this e1 edp20 so this e1 edp20 will be carrying the schedule lines data only okay you see e1 edp01 document item general data Uh, let me note it down. So even EDP zero one. Okay, if I uh, you see here e1 edp20 idoc schedule lines data okay so this e1 edp20 data we can see in the idoc whenever the quantity has been confirmed in schedule lines level for that item if there are multiple schedule lines are there and uh, suppose there are three schedule lines are there for an item among three only two are confirmed one or zero confirmed then we can see only two even edp20 segments here two segments so even edp20 referring to one schedule lines at a time if an item contains more than one uh, confirmed schedule lines then we see more than one even db20 segment here if uh, nothing is confirmed then we don't see the segment at all this is standard behavior okay remember this whenever quantity is not confirmed then those data schedule and data won't be displayed in the idoc um, so to make it more clear let me show you the, some piece of code Remember, this is the program. Okay, LV ED. Let me open this uh, program. It's uh, loading. <clears throat> okay, so let me show you the code.
fine anyways you can look at here um loop at xvbep right so let me search uh, loop at xvbep loop at xvbep mm, here it is okay so if you see this statement right so currently so it is always will be displaying only the data whenever quantity is confirmed okay you see the line number 2359 right so whenever vbep confirmed quantity remember this field bmeng bmeng is referring to confirmed quantity let me show you in the table as well vbep yeah, you see bmeng let me show you that yeah so confirm quantity will be stored in the bmeng field in vbep table so here the code standard code return to verify whether quantity has been confirmed or not if it is not if it is confirmed okay if it is confirmed then only they are populating the data into the uh, segment even edp20 if it is uh, not confirmed then it won't be populated so this is the actual standard behavior only confirmed scrolling data only displayed in the idoc so here the requirement came from business but the business asking that so whether the quantity has been confirmed or not doesn't matter i i want to see all the scrolling data in the idoc whether it is confirmed or not confirmed that's okay i need to see the data in the idoc right so we need we, are, we need to do some enhancement here right to overcome this requirement so where we should write the code right so during our the idoc programs is idoc program okay lved cf jury of is idoc program okay every idoc program will be having one perform customer function see if see here there's one customer function is there and if i show you see here also we have a customer function everywhere we see one customer function if i go inside hmm, here also i can see one uh, customer uh, function right so everywhere i can see one customer function okay so this customer function is provided by sap to enhance or add some additional logic so this customer function is nothing but a customer exit okay so anyways it's an above terminology it's a customer exit so where we need to write the code our custom logic so we need to write a logic saying that to populate even it 20 segment even though quantity is not confirmed so that logic we should add in the customer exit so in this way we can fulfill the customer requirement and to make it clear i have an example now let me go to va03 and this one order number 21075 if i go to extras in the menu output header and edit you see this is an output type called zrr it has a medium 6 as i told you earlier idoc outputs medium should be either 6 or a 6 or a means is an idoc output type okay so now output has been assigned now let me show you the, so whenever output assigned here then it will generate one idoc in the back end okay so let me show you that uh, idoc details with you hmm. so we saw right there are three outputs trigger and i mean zrr trigger three times right so that's why we see three idocs here so every time every output will trigger one idoc 
so three outputs three adducts here okay so let me click on the first one and let me open the order one more time in another window v03 21075 schedule lines okay if you see here uh, for item number one quantity is not confirmed okay quantity not confirmed here okay let me show you let me see whether I can see even B20 segment in the IDAC or not. So where we can see even B20 segment, that can be visible in the even EDP01 segment. Just click this arrow mark, even EDP01. So whenever you see an arrow mark here, that means this contains sub-segments. So here we don't have any segments. Here we can see one bullet symbol. That means here we don't have any sub-nodes. Sub-segments we don't have here, but here we have sub-segments. Just click on this uh, arrow mark and you see you don't see even edp20 segment we see even edp02 03 03 and 19 only but we don't see even edp20 because quantity not confirmed yet we can see here whenever quantity is confirmed so this is a requirement from business we need to do some code changes to display the scheduling data in all the cases so remember this standard behavior okay thank you everyone uh, we will meet in the next video